Hey everybody, welcome into this new tutorial. So, if you want to wet route your money, the amount of tokens that you gain from OpenSea into your bank account, stick around because I'm going to show you real quick how you can do that. Now, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step. I'm going to make a walkthrough complete full tutorial how you can do that. So, if you really want to wet route your money and you actually don't know exactly what to do, well, try to be a little bit patient because, yes, it's a little bit easy, but you might you might want to take in mind a few steps in order to receive your money with no issues so first of all what you guys need to do is to go into your OpenSea account as you can see i'm already into OpenSea.io, and what i want to do is to go into this part into this section where it says profile so if you haven't signed in if you haven't imported your wallet it would be appearing something like this it says you need a crypto wallet to use your OpenSea. so Almost everybody has a MetaMask wallet, but if you have a Coinbase wallet or something else, you can choose your wallet. It's right in to show more options and to log in. So in my case, I'm going to choose MetaMask because I already have here my wallet already imported as an extension. So, so I'm going to choose a passcode real quick. I just need to connect my MetaMask. I need to approve this. I'm going to go to next. I uh, need to approve the C address, the account balance, the activity, and suggest transactions to approve. So let's connect right away. All right. So now here I have a few of my NFTs already been listed in here. So as you see this wallet, I'm going to click in here. Here we'll be seeing the total balance of our uh, account. So in my case, I'm using my Ethereum network and I have just a few dollars in here. But I must say, guys, how do you earn your money here into OpenSea? Well, it's actually really simple. Let's say, for example, that you have this NFT, right? So if I clicked into my NFTs, I can sell this NFTs inside OpenSea.io. I can choose the sell option, select to switch the network because my NFT was published into a Polygon network. So I must choose another network. So I need to allow this side to add a new network i'm going to go into switch account switch network sorry and once i am into the listing section let's say i'm going to put in here just a price a duration of seven days for example and go into complete my listing so now once again i need to confirm the listing here i need to sign the request i'm going to hit into sign here's my nft confirms your listing i need to wait to the approval to be done and i can go back into the listing now that your NFT has been already listed into OpenSea.io, as you can see, here's my minimum bid. Here's my started price. And well, if someone buys my NFT, so what you guys want to do is to focus here on the details part. So as you can see, here's my contract address, my token ID, and the item activity is going to be appearing in here. So if someone, so if someone buys my NFT, is going to be seeing here the event, purchase, the price, from which person to my my account my wallet so since my OpenSea account has been created with a crypto wallet what's going to happen is if i go back into my profile and my nft has been already done successfully sold i am no longer going to see my nft on the collected section and if you go into your wallet your balance is going to be appearing right away in the so that means that your money, it's not actually on OpenSea. It's actually in your wallet, in your crypto wallet, right? So let's say, for example, that I earned this uh, DIA Ethereum stable coin, and I want this to send that into my bank account. So I strongly suggest you guys to choose, for example, the Polygon network, because they have very low commissions. So they don't retail a lot of your, of your money. So if you are into the Ethereum network, you can always choose this more section and you can bridge that to Polygon. And in order for doing that is that I need to go into my MetaMask, switch into my Ethereum account and go into bridge to Polygon. So what's going to happen is that this token, let's say I want to send a dollar, is going to be sent into the Polygon network so I can receive most of the amount of the tokens that I've received. So that's the reason why almost everybody posts their NFTs through the Polygon network so they, so they can get lower commissions. But if you want to stick around with the Ethereum, it's, a, it's totally okay. So let's say now that you have your dollars right in here, right? 
a dollar and 98 cents. So that means that if I go into my MetaMask account, if I go into my MetaMask wallet, I can see that in my assets, here is exactly the same amount of money that I have into my OpenSea. So as I just told you guys, the money that you got into OpenSea was directly sent into your wallet. That's the reason why we a really protective wallet with a bunch of securities because all your money is going to be available in there and almost everybody is able to see what's on your on your wallet so you must be really uh careful with your secret recovering phrase and all that all right so now that we have here our token it's pretty easy to send that directly into your bank account so so there are two ways that i actually send my tokens into my bank account the first option is to receive that into an exchange that can be compatible with my bank account. And the second option is to send directly into a wallet that is compatible with my bank account. In my case, I'm currently based into Mexico City. So that means uh, at the moment there are not so much exchange that can be sending directly tokens into my bank account. So what I do is to use another wallet. But if you are currently based into the United States or maybe you are somewhere around that's not Latin America, you might be receiving uh, your money into your exchange. So, for example, if you want to receive that into Binance and send directly from Binance into your bank account, you can always go into your wallet. You can go into the Fiat and Spot section once you already signed in, of course. And now what I want to do is to focus on the token that I have into my wallet so we receive the dia token so i want to look for that coin if it's available in here so as you can see it is available so what i when i found the token i want to choose the deposit section we want to deposit to our account all right so in here you can select once again the coin let's choose dia and in the network it's really important guys to choose the only support network from binance and of course for MetaMask. So if you are into your MetaMask wallet, you might see that your uh, tokens are available into in a specific network. In my case, it's already into Ethereum network. If you want to change that, if you want to send this token into another network, we must use a bridge. But in my case, I just need to select the network in my case. But in my case, I'm just gonna select the Ethereum mainnet, which is actually this one. Choose the Ethereum. And now it's going to be popping up a contract address we need to copy. And then we can go back into MetaMask. So we can paste this address into the send section. So I'm going to just paste that. And it's going to be asking me what asset I want to send, right? So in my case, I'm going to choose DIA. And it's going to be asking you for the amount. Let's say you want to send, for example, just one DIA. And go into the next section into metamask is uh, is the bnv so if you don't have enough tokens you can click in here go into the buy section and you can choose the option that that suits you the best so you can pay and get some few tokens in order for you to receive your tokens into binance so once you send your token once you have your token already into binance let's go back into fiat and spot section and i want to look for the binance convert and what I want to do is to convert this token into the currency that works into my country. For example, I'm going to choose DIA. And let's see if it works into the e -Rose, EUR, as you can see here it is. And if I want to convert four of them, I can preview my conversion. Here's the price of the DIA and this is the inverse price. So this is what are we going to be receiving here. Now, in my case, it says insufficient balance, but you guys just go ahead and go into continue. My case, it says refresh. So... Uh, these prices are constantly changing. The last thing to do is to send that into your bank account, is to withdraw that money. You just need to select your coin that was already converted and go into the withdraw option. So now, since this currency, actually, it's not like an actual token. It's not like a crypto. The only way that we can't uh, withdraw this, this balance is through a bank card or a bank transfer. So depending on the country that you are living is how you're going to be receiving that money. If I choose a bank card, it just won't let me because it's not available into my country. So that leads me guys into a second option just in case that you don't have this option of receiving the uh, currency into your bank account. So in my case, what I did is to try to find a contract 
wallet that can be related, can be merged with my bank account so I can receive my money when I set it to the application. So for me, I looked for a wallet called Bitzel.com because actually Bitzel.com was created for Latin America. So that's the way I can receive my money. So for example, I just sent a couple of tokens into my MXN currency because this is the currency that operates with my bank account. I just need to click my name in here, my ID of my bank, which is the name of my bank and the amount that I want to receive. So as you can see, those are the two options and maybe the last option that I can give you is to receive your tokens through PayPal. But it seems like in PayPal, it's not available on every country. I'm pretty sure it's just available on the United States. So if you go into the application, you, you can buy or you can sell your cryptocurrencies. If this feature was available for every country in PayPal.com, well, that would be pretty, pretty amazing. But so far, I'm pretty sure it's not working countries. So there you have it, guys. Now you know how to receive your money from OpenSea into your bank account. There were a lot of options that you can choose. Hopefully, uh, this was really useful for you. If you find this video valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this OpenSea and these other applications, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully, I will see you next time.